What's up guys, Turbo John here. So we made it out to our no prep race and I struggled and it kicked my tail. The car was knocking the tires off about 400 feet every single pass. So we're making some changes. Okay, so we got a lot of work to do. Today, what we're gonna do, there's a couple things. We're gonna be all over the car. So the first thing we're gonna do is get more travel in the front end. You can see I've got the spacer here in the nut and I've got a little bit of thread left. So the spacer is gonna go to the bottom of the strut and then I'm gonna probably try to find another spacer and even take, take up this amount of space here. I want to get at least another inch of travel. And so by doing that, that's one of my problems. I've got the, if you look up there, you see I've got the ability, if I run that spacer on the bottom of the strut tower, then I'll just run this down, you know, to take up that distance. And that way I can have about an inch of travel and not affect the front ride height. Uh, need that to happen. So I gotta do that. So that's all I'm doing up front. The other thing I gotta do is back here in the back. So this thing is still, I've still got these Hoosiers on it. And so I've got to, I'm gonna try to make this thing behave, behave more like a slick. So right now you can see in the video that I released a couple days ago from the, from the road rage uh, race, it's still squashing the tire pretty hard. The problem is, is late uh, down track, it was spinning at 400 feet. And so, you know, that's a huge problem. So I think what it's doing is just unloading. It's, you know, the anti squat's too much and the instant center is too short. It's like right here. I want it to be up here somewhere. So I need it to be about 50 or 55 inches, 60 inches long, somewhere in that range. So in order to make that happen, I moved, if you look at my old video, where I had the, where I put the weights on it, where I was getting prepared for the no prep race, I put the uh, weights on the back and I moved the lower control arm up on the rear end housing quite a bit. And I've got the, the instant center now is 128%. So it's still, you know, separating. And if I tighten the struts up or the shocks, if I tighten the rebound up on the, on the shock, then it makes it so that it's just a little bit too stiff and it doesn't work right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up putting the shock settings back on 50-50. I'm gonna leave the ride height where it's at, but the upper control arm on the body, I've got that adjustable um, upper control arm mount. And so I'm gonna move the upper control arm up. I gotta get under there and measure it and see how far up we're gonna move it. Either a half inch or possibly three quarters of an inch. It depends on how far apart the holes are. And so we're gonna replot everything and see what it is. I want my instant center less than 100%. I'm gonna try to make it look kind of like the old pro stock cars. Uh, when, when I let go of the trans brake button, the first movement, instead of the wheel separating and going down toward the ground, it should go up into the body. So this distance here is going to, to decrease. And so that's gonna be a problem here. I want it to squat probably, probably at least an inch or so. So right here, you can see I don't have enough room. I mean, if it squats two inches, this is where that's gonna be. So my solution for that is we're gonna go in and the inner fender well here on the inside, we're gonna cut that completely out. So I'll just have this thin piece of sheet metal here. We're gonna try to bow this out some. And if we, you see, I've already cut it and you know made it you know, look a little worse there. I done that uh, a couple years ago, but we'll try to roll it out. If I can't roll it out, then I'm gonna take a Sawzall and I'm gonna cut it or a plasma cutter or something, whatever Brian's got. So we're gonna cut it and that way we can fit it. And now what I'll do is I'll either get some um, add-on steel fender flares that are a little bit bigger, or it might get some of those four by four fender flares. I don't know, it's gonna, it's gonna get something. I want the car to squat. I mean, it's not mini tub at the moment. You know, I could mini tub it, slide, cut the axles, cut the rear end and slide everything inboard. So I wouldn't have to do that, but that's a lot more work. It's a lot more hassle. So I think the easiest thing for me to do is to, to do that. That's my plan. And you know, when you look at some of these no prep cars, I fit in right with them. All they care about is function. That's me. We're going to make it functional. So I don't care about looks, clearly. I mean, you can see the looks of the car are not top priority. All right, check it out. Okay, so we got the upper control arms. You can see this is my bracket. Um, we went up one hole. 
so it was in the one hole down from that three quarter inch spread so we got that moved up yes my welding sucks but that's okay it'll be okay so we moved it up over there you know something i need, need to do i've got to pay very close attention to is this anti-roll bar uh when the car is sitting down i've got to make sure that it's not going to bottom out and you can see these upper control arms are very low here but i have had that happen before so i need to make sure that i've got plenty of room there otherwise this may not really work out like i'm anticipating so uh, i've got to do that this thing still is not mini tubbed so i need to uh i've got to do a little bit more clearance and in there like i was saying up there i've got to clearance the inner fender well so i still got a little bit of work to do and you can see this this inner tire this tire the inner was rubbing just a little bit on both sides so um we got a little bit of work to do so almost there though almost there for what i'm trying to do and this moving is crazy just moving that up one hole changed the instant center it's like uh i think it said 64 inches long now i'll post the uh the the data for it so you can see actually what it is so we'll see it's going to try to squat it should um, I mean, it could be 89 or it could be 99. It might not move at all, but it definitely should uh, help with what I'm trying to do. Some of the videos, uh, my buddy Carl, uh, he had a couple videos and I saw some pictures uh, with the thing. When it was down track, probably 20 or 30 feet, the doggone tire was basically squashed flat, wrinkled all up. So, I mean, that was the anti squat working. And I think what was happening is it was just, you know, down track, with 127% anti-squat, it just doesn't have, it doesn't have the ability to lift the front. And so now with the front being able to extend another half inch or so, three quarters of an inch, it should, with a longer instant center, it should be able to, to plow down on track with the nose up and keep all the weight on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap the, swap the tires around from side to side so you can see feathering up pretty good from the, from the tire spin. But, you know, that's normal with a set of slicks. I mean, we still got plenty of wear on these things. I mean, we're not even down to the, the first set of wear bars. And we're almost there. Oh, there might not be much tread left on these. Let's see if we can. I mean, you can still see them. They got dirt in them. Yeah, these these are definitely not going to last as long as the, the Pro Bracket Radial. But it is what it is. I mean, it might be one of those things we have to change it out every, every 10 passes. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, let's finish this up real fast and then we'll be done, ready to go to the track this weekend. Hopefully, there's a couple, there's two races happening. There's one happening at Harold's. It's like a cash day style on Saturday. Sunday is 17. They got a race. We'll see how it works out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to either one. My mother is about to have knee surgery soon. So I may end up uh, hanging out with her for the weekend. So we'll see, we're gonna see. I'm gonna try to go, but I'm not, I'm not for sure going yet. All right, check it out. That may not look like a bunch of rubber on the floor, but that's a lot of rubber. Like a lot, lot. All from the wheel wells. That's a big pile. Gotta weigh a couple pounds. Gotta weigh about two, two to three pounds. Car's lighter, gonna be faster. It's a good thing. Okay, so we got our final set up here. You can see the lower bar. It's very hard to see these angles based on the camera here. I'm laying on the ground, it's sitting down. The upper bar, the lower bar is basically flat. It is going uphill very, very slightly. The upper control arm is going downhill very slightly. And it's very difficult to see that's probably the best angle. It's about an inch of fall. So it's not much. So the anti squat's just a little bit less than 100%. It's like 90% or so. So we're gonna try it there. See, we got the shocks. So we got some travel in the shocks now. And you see, this is my main problem. I've only got about two inches here between my anti roll bar and the rear end housing. So it is actually, yeah, no, that's all I got. This right here, and this is the, the big bar back in the back. The, the yellow one with the yellow paint um, is the problem one. So, you know, but it's, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't squat much more than that. So 
There we go, we got our spot. So we're gonna, we're gonna just try it and see. Swap Hoosiers from side to side. Okay, and we cut the red neck, cut the inner fender out, and we flared this out. So you can see from the side, it kinda looks like it's mini tub, but not really. Redneck mini tub, maybe. It's good, good, good terminology for it, maybe. So we'll see what happens. What y'all think? Gonna work? Maybe, maybe not. Shannon, Brian, John. Look at his old car over there. So we're having fun. I'm late. It's late. I'm tired. I've been over here for like five hours. But I think we're ready. I think we're almost ready to go to the track with mine. I think, it, well, it is ready. I don't know if it's going to go this weekend or not, but maybe next week. All right, so we switched everything up. We're going to try it again. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see y'all soon. Thanks. Go fast and get some wind lights.